everyone, welcome back to France for episode 4, I think we are at now, on the uh, uh, Big Breakfast Challenge. Oh yes, and my bailer is still presenting me with a few issues. Not quite sure what's going on with it, but yes, uh, we've sort of managed a, a technique of forwards and backwards to get it working. Uh, but yes, we are progressing along nicely with these mowing contracts, the baling contracts. Uh, now, um, the delivery of the bales has provided some interesting results. So, some contracts are more finished than others that haven't actually technically been started. If that makes any sense, I know. <laughs> So yeah, basically we've uh, done some deliveries, and the deliveries were counted for other contracts, not the ones for the fields we were actually mowing. So yeah, that... Uh, let's turn that off back up a minute. And I've got this on auto-drop because we are sort of on a hill here. Now luckily there is a fence all the way around here, but just in case I wanted to do that. So we don't have anything rolling off. Yeah, see, that one's got a bit of a roll on. Uh, but what we are currently waiting on is one more box of cucumbers to pop out of the old greenhouse. And we're going to run off and sell them. Uh, but contracts-wise, we are currently on field 37. And it says we're 69% completed. Because we've uh, mowed the whole thing and we've delivered... Uh, we haven't delivered any bales for it yet, technically, but actually we have. Uh, now, field 36, we finished and um, delivered the bales. They completed that one, but instead of going for field 37 next, they started going on to field 52. So we've now completed selling, uh, completed delivery on field 52. And we've still got some delivery to do on field 37. It's all a bit confusing because we're on field 37 here. That's what this one is. Oh, in fact, I should collect that contract as well, shouldn't I? There we go. Got a bit more cash. Uh, yes, because we are looking at selling cucumbers. They are dropping in price ever so slowly now because we are in October. But uh, we've got... If I switch back to here... Uh, yeah, it's about to pop out, because they're 700 litre pallets. A fourth pallet, I believe it is, of um, cucumbers. And we've got the little Avant over there with the flatbed currently uh, awaiting that last pallet. So once we get, uh, get that, then uh, we'll run over quick and deliver those. And then come back here to do the whole uh, uh, sort of moving of bales around. Now, with any luck, uh, we'll actually, uh, when we hand in the bales for this contract, or the bales that we're making now, they'll apply to this field, and there'll probably be a few left over. So, what we'll probably do is just sell all of that straight away, and then, come on, come on, track. oh, it's bogged down a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's doing that. What we'll look at uh, doing, perhaps, is upgrading the... Uh, engine ever so slightly in this because it might be just something to do with that like the gears and the torque or something but uh, yeah it just seems to lock up when it's under load for some reason uh, but yeah so um, we're going to look at getting an engine upgrade on this uh, we'll sell those cucumbers uh, once we've sold the cucumbers that's probably when we'll uh, we'll look at getting the engine upgrade because that would be a, a fairly good time i think so i'm just going to swing down here onto this road uh, so yeah once we finish with this contract we'll be over to field 52. Uh, all the bales that we get from field 52 we are probably going to keep and we're going to give them to the uh, cows and potentially to some sheep as well uh, Neither of which we actually have right now. Can I make that turn? Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, we don't actually have any sheep or cows at the moment. But uh, it will help us in the long run. Um, yeah, we might buy a few sheep early on. A few cows, get them all working, um, producing milk and wool and stuff. 
basically just products we can sell because that's uh, sort of our first uh, objective is to get a bit of cash flow on the go that was kind of why I wanted to start that greenhouse so quick yeah it, it's not going to be a lot but um, it might allow us to uh, uh, buy some small things like the um, tractor upgrade uh, or not upgrade but well yeah upgrade <laughs> yeah it'll allow us to get the engine looked at see if we can just get a handle on the uh, sort of power issue we're having with this baler it's very strange because I think it's a 60 horsepower thing so the tractor should run it just fine because it's 100 horsepower but ah uh, who knows but it certainly wouldn't hurt to have, uh, I think the um, the upgrade we're probably going to go for is six grand for, um, what is it, for about another, up to 120 horsepower. So that, that should probably do it, and I've just realised we are currently running the wrong um, speed and uh, monetary units, because we were still looking at the old Brazil series I think and I forgot to switch them back over but that's not a problem we'll get that changed uh, about the time when we're running over to sell those uh, cucumbers just so we don't get our uh, conversion rates and prices and banking all confused <laughs> okay let's just check that when we're going down here so oh okay yes lovely it has finished that so I'll get this last uh, or current bale finished and dropped off and then uh, we'll run back over to the farm it's just up there it's not far and uh, get that last crate onto the back of the uh, trailer and then uh, run over and sell it and uh, yeah that's one we'll come back when we are dropping off the uh, cucumbers for sale alrighty we are back we're just driving around the corner here to our uh, lovely sales point i've got to remember where we stashed it i think it's what have i got stuck on oh that dopey muppet okay fine get out of the way you literally could have gone straight past me but no these people now I'm gonna to have to go up and around the corner which ironically is probably not a bad thing for me but yeah <laughs> so the sale point if I can remember where we put it I don't care you're crossing the road I'm here first uh, was it oh it's up around that side okay well you people can wait for me to turn around since you caused me problems already you can just wait there You've ruined all my driving, and I got lost anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, the uh, thing should be around here. It's the little market stall we're coming to. There she blows. If I roll into here. Well, there we go. Taking it off. Smashing. Lovely. A nice three and a half grand for uh, four pallets of, uh, what do you call those things? four pallets I'm going the wrong way again <laughs> four pallets of cucumbers that's not bad because that thing hasn't been run in too terribly long so I am not displeased with that at all and that does mean we can get our upgrade and uh, potentially look at getting a windrower as well because I've had my own a couple there's um, there's a few around it uh, roughly about the same price as the uh, engine upgrade that we're looking at so uh, we will have a look at that. They're about 4,800 to 6,000. And I forgot to change the things over, didn't I? Silly, silly me. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, so uh, things are going nicely. I'm going to get back and finish that field off quick. And uh, then we are going to have to rush over and start working on our fields as well. Before we uh, continue with the last of the bailing contracts. So yeah, I shall see you back when we're doing something else with the bales. Well, here we are, just getting into town now with uh, one trailer full of bales. Now we've only got uh, 
10 bales on here right now. There are still, uh, I want to say, another 5 in the field itself, which is surprising, in fact, but uh, not a terrible thing. So we've got 45,000 litres of hay here, which is going for the contract on field 37, it should be. Should be all going on to that. And then potentially selling as well. So let's just check on what the price is for hay. 107 and declining. But still 107 per thousand. We might get a little bit out of this. Okay, if I... I think I have to take the straps off, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, let's just back up slightly. Okay, contract finished. $625. Okay, so we've delivered everything for both contracts now. Let's switch back to them. Yep, so we've delivered everything for 37 That's perfect. And we've delivered everything for 52 as well. So all the bales we have, we can sell. Which is not half bad. So, let's sell all these ones as well. That gets us another, well, total of 3,500. I'm going to reverse into the plant pot, but not damage it. <laughs> okay, so since we are here, and that's the reason I bought the tractor, we are going to nip into the shop quick and uh, do a couple of things. Uh, first off, we are just going to park our trailer out of the way over here. I'm not sure what that sell point is. They, they purchased something, apparently. Uh, but yeah, we're going to pop this just in here for a minute. Because we are probably going to leave that for now and actually grab a different trailer while we're here. So, uh, first things first. Let's pop in here and have a quick service on the old tractor. It could use $600 worth of repair. Okay, and uh, we're going to customise it. Now, I thought we had mud guards on it, not the wide ones. Yeah, we've got supposed to have mud guards. It's one of those tractors. I'm guessing it does not like uh, having certain things on it when you go to work on it. I don't think we had anything else though. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what was it? We oh engine. Yes. Uh, we are going to go for the 120 horsepower upgrade for six grand which is perfect so we'll have that and uh, let's see uh, oh we've got to go into the shop don't we for the next one uh, we're going to have a quick look at bale trailers because in fact before we look at bale trailers let's check the sales because I know what will happen I'll buy one and then there'll be one uh, no there isn't but there's a lot of those mother bins on <laughs> Uh, now, this might actually be handy. That is the front loader for the tractor we've got. But we don't actually have the front loader console on it at the moment. So if that's still available later on, we might pick that up. But bale trailers was what we were going for. And the one that I'm looking at... Uh, this one was tempting, the lizard bale trailer for 4500 But then I remembered that's got the old swivel axle on it there, you can see. And that can cause some issues sometimes. I mean, it's not terrible by any means. It's a nice looking little trailer. Uh, but I'm looking at getting this one. And I had wanted to put the um, round bale ladders on it. But we can't quite afford that. So we'll have to get that later on. But we are going to purchase it like that for now. I don't think there's anything we needed changing on the tyres. Ah, we'll stick with Continental. Okay. Purchased. We have ourselves a proper bale trailer now. So if I grab the old tractor. And let's whiz around the back and grab that. Uh, the advantage is we'll be able to get more bales on it. And it should uh, transport just a little bit um, better than the other one because uh, that one was really more for pallets and uh, other things. 
And that's not to say this one can't be used for that as well. But you see it's got that nice little lip on the edge which should help. Uh, so yeah, what we are going to do is go back to the field quickly, uh, grab up some of our equipment, head back to the farm. And this doesn't have a trailer hitch on it, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, oh crikey, I didn't mean to zoom in there. Let's let the van go by it. Uh, yeah, we're going to run back, grab some of the equipment, head back over towards the farm. Uh, because we need to get to work on one of our fields. I just now realised that we're in the middle of October, being well, we're in the middle of this particular day of October, but we only have the one day in October. This is one day months. Uh, we need to get um, one, uh, one or crikey, is that van again? Um, one or both of our fields flipped, uh, and actually have something planted in them. Now I'm just looking at putting wheat in there probably, uh, nothing too major, and then uh, get um, get that on the grow. Uh, obviously we'll need to buy fertilisers, lime spreaders, all that fun stuff, but uh, we don't really have time for that right now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to, in fact I might load these up quick. Yep, since we got the trailer we'll load these up quick uh, and then head off back to town and um, or back to back to the farm so I'll see you all up at the farm in a minute or two and uh, we'll catch up and see where we are alrighty we are now back up at the farm I've found our delightful um, whatever this thing is cultivator there we go and we are going to start with this sorghum field in fact what I should have done was just driven straight through and uh, got to work on this field over here so we're gonna just move straight into it because why not <laughs> it makes sense to get this one done first now it did just occur to me that we don't actually have any seeds either we've got a cedar but we don't have seeds and that could be a minor issue going ahead since we do want to start seeding so we will have to uh, purchase some of those now luckily we do still have five bales left and did i cash oh i didn't even cash the contract in lovely there we go we'll cash that in now it seems like there are quite a lot of baling contracts going on but we oh crikey that's a massive one for 51 48 47 we could do oh those are silage that's hay that's hay 41 and 42 are hay by the look of it no that's silage so 42 is hay 47 or 48 is hay yeah, even 38 might not be bad I don't think there's anything else we really wanted to do right now is it yeah, can't harvest potatoes, we don't have a corn header. I don't think we have a corn header. We certainly don't have a cotton harvester, so we can't do that. Soybeans, though, that's a big field, 53. And I think we've ploughed enough for right now. <laughs> I'm just curious, let's check on some of those fields. 53 must be quite the large field then. Uh, oh, that's that one. Yeah, we are not doing that no thank you <laughs> but uh, 41 that was a grass field wasn't it I think 38 was that one that little L shaped one that might actually be worth doing we might pick that one up uh, we've still obviously got 52 to get on with as well but uh, that is not a problem yeah, we should have our field uh, now we do have weeds in this one obviously I think there are some in the other field as well and that's something else we don't have but whether or not we get that anytime soon I don't know uh, I'm hoping at least cultivating the weeds back in will mean they won't grow again as um, medium weeds straight away so we might have a little bit of a respite to get a small weeder we shall see uh, although I think before we get weeds, we are going to look at getting um, uh, fertilizer and lime spreader. 
that's probably going to be our best bet because uh, you know, we're not going to get a great deal of yield off of this field but any little extra bit of yield will be good and I think those are the things that will get us the most oops I missed a spot I do like this cultivator though I think it's a, an old Raba one Rabe, Raba however it's it's pronounced that's what it, yeah there it is right there on the side lovely stuff yeah it is quite a nice looking little cultivator making the field look lovely again so can't complain there <laughs> I, I swear this tractor feels so massive though even though it's a small tractor it just feels a bit big for this this tiny little field <laughs> but hey shouldn't complain it's the tractor we've got and it's working quite well and we will see eventually how the um, upgrade goes in terms of using the baler obviously with it raining right now it's not the best time to be mowing the grass in fact it's not really the best time to be doing this either but it's still early in the rain shower period so I think we'll be safe <laughs> I think we will be safe so let's just get this little dob here that I missed. Now, a roller would be handy as well to get these small stones out of the way, but again, uh, we are just starting. We only have a limited amount of cash at the minute. Uh, I'm thinking what we might do with this is look at getting our second greenhouse. Uh, possibly both greenhouses, uh, the coffee and... Um, Oh, what is it? The um, the regular standard greenhouse that does the red lettuce and all that stuff. Get that working as well. Which I believe need um, little odds and ends. Uh, in fact, we might have a look at that in a second. Let's get this strip done quick. Nicely cultivated field. lovely and that's what I could do is just go back across there again get a little bit of room to turn against the, the fence there now when we uh, eventually buy that field we'll probably buy that field we could actually remove that fence as well that uh, will not sort of remove it exactly but there's a an option for dismantling it temporarily so we might do that if we own the field but Again, that's a, just sort of future musings, as it were. Okay, let's have a quick look at the greenhouses. So, yeah, this one is just water. The, what else have we got? Oh, yeah, it's just that. Uh, the coffee beans take liquid fertiliser and water. And the other one takes water, solid fertiliser, straw and pallets. Okay, well, solid fertilizer will probably be buying some of anyway for the actual fertilizer spreader. Um, straw we won't have until after the crop. Now, that's an interesting question that we might have to pose to Walker. Uh, are we allowed to buy straw for productions? Because, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, one of the rules of the challenge is we can't buy any food or bedding for animals but in this instance it wouldn't be going to animals it would be going to the production so that might be an acceptable thing I shall have to ask <laughs> yeah, I mean it could just be a case of uh, we wait on that one anyway until uh, these fields come up next year and we get straw off them and just go with it like that 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 might be the easy thing in the long run but uh, you never know we'll see how it goes because we've got a little bit of uh, of time to ponder and perhaps if we just get the uh, coffee beans one on the go then uh, any coffee beans we make um, to begin with we could just sell off quick if there's a sell point that takes them and then call it uh, call it good until we can actually afford uh, not afford so until we actually make our own straw anyway yeah that, that's an option 
Uh, of course, technically we could buy some cows now because we will have hay in the not too distant future from that other baling contract. So that might be worth doing as well. Maybe just get a few um, cows on the go or sheep or something. Get some milk or wool that we can use in productions or just sell straight up. Yeah, that might be worth doing. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Uh, well, speaking of decisions, what I shall do is finish driving into a tree. Crumbs, yeah, can't see much with those trees there. Uh, but yes, I shall finish this field once I can get all of the field in, not just keep missing bits. Uh, yeah, so I shall finish this field and uh, then we'll see what we're going to do about seed and greenhouses and stuff so I'm thinking um, obviously we've got to buy seed anyway so if I buy some fertilizer to put in the other greenhouse as well then that might work so yes I shall see you all back shortly and uh, we'll see where we are standing or sitting perhaps we might be sitting <laughs> Alrighty, we are back now down at the animal dealer to drop off the last of the bales that we had. And unfortunately I made a little bit of a balls up along the way. I'd uh, forgotten that uh, I needed to sell these before I picked up another contract. So what Silly Me did was collected a uh, contract for Field 38. So when I drop these off they are probably going to go towards that. Hopefully there'll be a little bit left over because 38 is a diddy little field. But we shall see. Okay, so we uh, we had lost a little bit for the environmental score, but oh well. Um, yeah, so we've completed field uh, uh, the um, delivery portion of the contract for field 38. That's nice. So we are just going to lodge our trailer up this side road for now because that is fine what we will probably do is just deliver the bales straight away for this contract because it is uh, literally this field right here this is field 38 if we pop over and have a look at the map uh, yep there we go field 38 this little upside down angle bracket L shaped looking thing and also field 39 is another hay contract so I'm going to get that because that is also a good quick and easy source of income so we'll have that one as well uh, 48 I am tempted with because it's a bigger one more money uh, 51 is super tempting but 51 is this massive field right here and while it wouldn't be that bad it would take a while to do and fr quite frankly we've got other things we need to do and those other things include if i run up here uh, we're going to pop in the shop uh, you see we've got our tools and stuff littered around the place we're going to pop into the shop and purchase ourselves a uh, where is it I've gone by a uh, fertilizer spreader. So I was having a look and there's a couple of options. We've got this old Vicon PS1004, which is one I would use quite a lot. I remember using it on uh, FS19. Um, I think I've used it here before as well uh, on one A series at some point, but it's one that I've used a lot so I'm not going to get that this time what I'm going to get is this little slightly diddier one the Lancer 600 PPO from Lizard and it's essentially the same sort of thing it's just a little small capacity that we can add an extension to it just the one that takes it up to 900 litres and it's got an 18 metre spread width which isn't terrible and it's only three and a half grand well, uh, three and a quarter, 32.50. So we are going to buy that. And to go with that, we are going to purchase at least one bag of lime. Probably two. I don't think we've got anything different in. 
lime, 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 lime. Bag of lime, 350 for 2000. I think that's the same as this one, 350 for 2000. Yeah, but that one's liftable. Yeah, we might as well get that since it's liftable. And in fact, I think we'll get two of those because they're cheap. So that's seven. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get two of those because we've got two fields. And then we are going to need some seeds, which are 800 for a thousand. We're going to buy one of those. And, uh, no, wrong one. Uh, oh, I forgot to check. I should have checked here for seeds and stuff too, shouldn't I? I don't think I have any. No, I don't. I don't have any extra pallet things for seeds. Uh, we are going to buy this little thing of uh, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, 1500 litres for 1200 euros. Liquid fertilizer. Now that is for the coffee bean greenhouse. So we will have to get that up there fairly quickly. And I don't think we can lift that one, can we? Just double check. Pretty sure we can't. Uh, that's, no, we can't lift that one. These bags we can because they're from the liftable pallets mod. And this, uh, we should be able to because it's only like 500 kilos. And uh, not five, like 150 kilos, but yeah, oh well, never mind. Uh, so we are going to get this. We shouldn't really be doing this in the rain. Oh, the rain's just stopping. Okay. Oh, no. I didn't mean to take that with us. That can stay there. Uh, I was about to say uh, we wouldn't normally do this in the rain. And then the rain stopped. So, hooray. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. Uh, well, it should be stopping anyway. According to the uh, weather forecast in the top right. Okay, so we're going to fill this up with lime. I don't believe this one has a trailer hitch on it. No, it doesn't. Shame, we could have potentially... I mean, we still could, but... Yeah. Now, I'm going to run back to the farm with this, and uh, we are going to spread ourselves a little bit of lime. And see how horribly wrong it goes. <laughs> Okay, we are here at our field now. Now I'm going to give it a quick pop just to see how well it does. Of course, 18 meters is not quite the uh, the width of the field, is it? That's lovely. <laughs> okay, so we'll go up one side and down the other. And good lord, that's honking through the line. I know we needed a lot of lime on this thing, but let's have a look. Okay, that is 6,500. This is quite, yeah, okay, fair enough. That's why it's honking through the lime. <laughs> it needs to uh, honk through it as quick as it can. Okay, should I just open a door? I think I might have. And we are out of lime. That's unfortunate. Not surprising, but unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm going to drop this off here. Pop back to the uh, store and uh, grab our secondary um, trailer that's down there. Pop everything on it and bring it back up here. But we don't really need to see all that because it's literally just me driving there loading it onto the trailer and then driving back and uh, I'll have to get the um, what's that little doodad uh, the Avant to uh, lift up that bale pallet bale pallet? no fertiliser drum pallet <laughs> there's words in there somewhere I'm sure <laughs> uh, but yeah so I'll grab all this stuff quick and then run right back up to the farm and uh, pick it up again once we are spreading the uh, lime around. Okay, we are coming back up to our field again here. 
Now, I did decide that uh, another bag of lime might be worth getting, just in case, because we honked through so much of it in that tiny little space that uh, I figured it would probably be in our best interests just to grab one, one extra since we had the cash. And we are going to get this little patch done quick. If I can. Lovely job. Okay, now onto this great big honking. Uh, great big honking field, he says. It's a fairly small field. It's not the world's biggest. But. Our little spreader is doing what it can, and it is not uh, not got a, a small task ahead of it. Even though it is a small field, it has like the worst lime it could have, and that's okay. We've all got to start somewhere. <laughs> Cracky! I'm just going to run back down and. Uh, grab some more, I might as well refill it quick since we've got two little half bags on there or it could take it from the full bag okay, that's handy I guess <laughs> not quite sure why it decided to take it from the full bag but oh well, such is life ah, Mr Patch not to worry. Okay. Okay, decided not to actually put any down there. That's fair enough. And, oh, I didn't want to put any down there either. Lovely. Okay, we are getting very chalky tyres here. So, let us grab the uh, rest of this. Okay, how much blooming lime did I buy? So we've got... Wait a minute. Yeah. <sighs> It's 2,000 litres per bag, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, you silly sod, Felden. You silly sod. So we've got a 2,000 litre bag of lime. A 1,000 litre bag of seeds. And, okay, yes, fine, I get it. And then, like, a little... <sighs> Plum. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to say to that, really, isn't it? Okay. Uh, well, we'll get this inside and grab the cedar. Because what I will have to do at some point is uh, evacuate the lime out of this and fill it with fertiliser. But when I evacuate the lime, I don't know if it's going to actually give us um, a liftable bag. So... Oh, I mean, if we drop it off in here, see if it will let us unload it here. No, not enough space. Uh, that's unsurprising and perfectly fine. So let's grab the cedar. And we are already set to wheat, which is exactly what we want. Whiz back through here. And yeah, we're just going to do both of these fields in wheat. Um, that's the easiest option for now. Uh, the only other thing we could do is barley, but uh, barley doesn't sell quite as well as wheat. There's not much in it, but I figure rather than trying to do two different crops, we might as well just do uh, do the one and see how it goes. So let's get seeding. that down and hopefully we won't run out of seeds too quick because I cannot afford to get any more at the moment. 
Well, yep, so far so good. Okay. That is not terrible. Oh, missed a little bit there. Of course, I'm always missing little bits. <laughs> but it's a small field, so yeah. I'm thinking that uh, one bag of seeds should do us just fine. Now, the fertiliser we will have to get later on, uh, once we've done a couple more of those little baling contracts. Uh, and potentially, um, well, just all three of them, really. And we might pick up some more. It just depends on how uh, how well things go in terms of uh, uh, you know time that we have. Uh, obviously, we've got a time frame to do uh, our jobs as well. And uh, the quicker we get things up and going with money production, I guess, uh, get a bit of money in so we can start uh, start working towards the goals of the Big Breakfast Challenge. Oh yes. So, uh, I think that is a good time to call it for now. I am going to putter along here and sow both these seal seals. Sow both these fields with wheat. And uh, we shall come back next episode. And uh, probably I'll get the bailing contracts done off camera. Since we've sort of seen a fair amount of it here and there. The last couple of episodes. Uh, and I'll get them done, and uh, we'll have a bit of cash on hand from that. And, uh, yeah, we'll pick it up with fertilising and, and all sorts of fun stuff, no doubt. So, yes, uh, with that being said, I shall uh, bid you all farewell. I do hope you've enjoyed whatever this was. And if you have, do please give us a like, and consider hitting the old subscribe button there too. Every little bit of interaction all helps. And uh, if uh, comments are always welcomed, if I can remember my outro, <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, do please don't forget to go and check out Warco and his uh, endeavours on the challenge. And uh, I hope we'll see you next time as we continue on with the Big Breakfast Challenge. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>